So you're already using Microsoft Copilot to speed things up at work and get quick answers. But what if you could make it more consistent and actually have it help you support your weekly routine? Because that's where the new schedule prompts in Copilot come in. They let you write a prompt once and then Copilot will automatically run it for you on a schedule that you choose and deliver the results right into your Copilot chat. But if you ever use this short-lived Copilot Actions feature like I did, you might remember setting all these up. But as quickly as that new feature arrived, it quickly disappeared. But what's replaced it now is a far more integrated and easy experience. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how exactly schedule prompts work, how to set them up in less than a minute, and also share a few real prompts with you you can schedule today to save time and stay ahead. So let's jump in. So you've joined me in Microsoft Teams and I've went ahead and opened the Copilot app, but it's important to note that to use schedule prompts, you'll need to use the work tab, which means you'll need a Microsoft 365 Copilot paid license to use in the workplace. Yes, schedule prompts are not currently available under the web tab or using the free version of Microsoft Copilot. But now heading back into our work tab, let's give Copilot a prompt. As we can see here, I'm now gonna ask Copilot to create a summary of Project Greenspace progress over the past month using documents, emails, tasks, and meeting notes. I did an executive summary to share with my project stakeholders in a professional manner. It's a requirement to do it once a month to also give them that update. Just like before, we can share the prompt with Copilot looks across all of my files to provide the result that I can now share with my stakeholders. And we can now see that Copilot's came back with our result, the progress overview for the past month, and what we've achieved in Project Greenspace, and any other blockers and overdue tasks, as well as a handy executive summary, me to copy and paste into a PowerPoint or to an email to share with my stakeholders. But I need to run this every single month, and every time I have to copy and paste the prompt straight back into Copilot, while well, we're not anymore with the help of schedule prompts. What we now need to do is click on the freed up menu at the bottom of your response, and you can select schedule this prompt. This will also give you the option to now decide how often this prompt should be run automatically and send the results back in Copilot chat. Yes, as simple as that, we can now create a schedule prompt. What I can now do is go ahead and select when I want the prompt next run. I'm gonna go ahead and select it to run on the 14th of July. Or I could also select a different date and select it to run at 9.30 a.m. and set it to run every single month. But also I don't want to run it 12 times. Instead, three times should be sufficient to take us up to the end of this project. By selecting save, this is now added as a schedule prompt, meaning it'll be run automatically for us with the help of Copilot. Now we've created a schedule prompt to get back to any of our schedule prompts in Copilot chat, select the freed up menu and select schedule prompts. From here, you'll see a list of the schedule prompts you've created. Selecting the freed up menu, you could run them again immediately, turn them off or delete them. That's a handy way to get back to any of your schedule prompts. But also we can create additional prompts and I've created some here to share with you today and be really helpful for you moving forward to use inspiration as some of your future schedule prompts. Let's go ahead and start a new conversation with Copilot and check out our first new example. Summarizing my accomplishments, learning highlights and feedbacks from the past month across my emails, documents and team messages. So help me prepare for my upcoming performance review with my manager. I'm sure my manager will also need a breakdown. So I've asked it for bullet points to provide for supporting evidence. Let's now go ahead and share this with Copilot to come back with that information for me in readiness for my next performance meeting. And we can see Copilot's now came back with a summary of what I've achieved across all of my different files. Accomplishments, learning highlights, feedback and action items, and upcoming deliverables, taken from all of these different sources inside of my own work environment. But alongside using the freed up menu to schedule this prompt, we can also highlight one of your prompts and select the icon here to schedule your prompt, taking you back into the same experience that we saw earlier. 
Once again, we can now go ahead and set this to run monthly and move it forward to the 21st of July. We'll leave the time at 1.30 and this time to run every single month. I'm going to run it 12 times because I'm going to ensure I have my monthly meetings with my management team. Selecting save, once again, it's now created as another scheduled prompt. If you're looking to get more from Copilot and Microsoft 365 and want something you can keep and refer back to, then make sure you check out our Microsoft 365 ebook collection. It's packed with practical guides, tips, and real world examples, all designed to help you work smarter with Microsoft 365. Whether that's using Copilot, mastering Microsoft Teams, boosting productivity, or managing your tasks more effectively, you can download the ebook collection using the link shown below, and then start applying what you learn right away. Now, let's get back to the tutorial. And here we now have another prompt I could also share with Copilot. Based on my recent emails, meetings, documents, and team messages, I identify key tasks I need to action this week, creating a prioritized list and suggesting which ones I need to focus on first. Let's go ahead and share it with Copilot once we get the results back, we'll once again schedule it so you can run this every single week on a Monday morning. So now Copilot's responded, outlining what I need to focus on. We can again highlight our prompt and schedule it. This time, I want it to start next Monday and it's only gonna run on Monday. I'll remove the other days during the week so it runs every week on Monday and set the time to run at 9 a.m. I'll also leave it to be set to run 15 times, which is currently the maximum that we can run a schedule prompt for. Clicking save, it's now once again added into our schedule prompts. But let's also consider another scenario. What if one of my scheduled prompts needs to be run immediately? Maybe a meeting moves forward, or I also need to get a quick update. Well, inside of your schedule prompts dialog, select the freed up menu and select run now, and your schedule prompt will be run immediately. We can go ahead and close this dialog down whilst that prompt continues to run. And when Copilot responds for any scheduled prompts, you'll see immediately on the right hand side, you'll be notified with a green check mark. Selecting the Copilot chat will now go ahead and open that summary that we've scheduled with Copilot. We can see it's stored here. That means any scheduled prompts that you send across to Copilot, you'll be notified and can easily pick them up from your Copilot chat and once again work with those outputs. But what about the limitation where under the work tab, we can only search for our work data. What if instead part of my role, I need to also understand what's changing in the world of AI across technology vendors in the last one month. Is that possible to use under the work tab without having Copilot search my emails and documents? Well, it absolutely is. In fact, here's a prompt to do that. I've now asked Copilot to search for trusted web sources only to provide an update on advancements in AI capabilities in a short bullet point list. This time, Copilot will no longer search through my own files and takes information across the web. That now means that we could use scheduled prompts to do exactly that. Using these web sources, we can see here there is no reference to any documents or my own emails. But once again, click on schedule this prompt and we can now begin to schedule it at a time that suits us to run every single month and get the information from a particular topic across different web resources. So we've now learned what schedule prompts are, how they work inside of Microsoft Copilot, and practical examples that you can use right away. These are small changes, of course, but for me, they're really important because now we're able to build an assistant powered by Copilot, which becomes part of our weekly or daily routine automatically and saves us some time. So if you've already used schedule prompts, or maybe you're considering setting one up, why not drop me a comment below and let me know what you're planning to do with schedule prompts. And if this video has helped you, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you never miss a tutorial, helps you get more done with Microsoft 365. Other than that, well, I'll see you in the next one.